pass kicking with the wind sends it out of the end zone for a touchback and Clemson's offense will take the field first. Bryant throws the reliable Hunter Renfro who extends his consecutive game with a reception streak to 31. At the helm of the number two team in the country as ETN spins away from a defender. And a strong finish to that run. It's another first down for Clemson. And what Coach Sweeney wanted to see was an offense that can be more efficient. On third down, Bryant has an open receiver. It's caught. It's the tight end, Galloway. Braden Galloway with a first down. Great timing on the part of Kelly Bryant. Great anticipation here from the tight end. He sees they've got their soft in coverage. He finds a soft spot. First down conversion. Bryant back to the air. And that is intercepted. First turnover of the season by Clemson. Kendall Vildor stepped in to take that tunnel screen away. He's got the ball. Was this on the quarterback or the receiver? Yeah, yeah the, the uber talented Justin Ross has to do a better job of selling that screen. You've got to make the, the defensive back think that you're. Fields ran into a roadblock, fourth down. Should be able to make some noise in their conference. Kelly Bryant keeps it on the zone raid. And Bryant B buttons his way to the 31 yard line, a gain of 17. The one area where Bryant is considerably better. Well, this is just a great decision. You know, great play fake right there. 100 yards a season ago. Feaster out of the backfield. Got a block on the perimeter. And Feaster across the 40, close to a first down. If they can continue to get that type of push, it's going to be a long day for the Eagles. Back to Feaster. First down into Georgia Southern Territory. Travis Etienne now back into the game at running back. He gets the call. Etienne has the edge into the secondary. And finally driven out of bounds by Brinson after a gain of 18. Screen pass, Samari Rogers got a block from Renfro, and that block able to spring Rogers for a first down. Yeah, and Rogers brings a different element of wimpy tackles. Speed option, Bryant keeps. Flag down after a short game. Personal foul. Chop block, offense, 15-yard penalty, first down. You'll see it here in the middle of your screen. And a nose tackle who were suspended. Bryant thought about the pass. He'll run up the middle, has some green space. And he gets close to the original line of scrimmage, which sets up a third and nine and just found some creases inside as this offensive line and along with. On third down, Bryant to the air, has time. Now flushed. And he is set. How about Chris Harris, the third string linebacker coming into the game? Into this red zone and space starts to tighten up and give them credit. With only a four man rush, they were able to get some pressure 39-yarder for Greg Hugel, who missed most of last year with a torn ACL. Kick is up. And no good. Words under pressure, thrown to the ground, and canceled by Austin Bryant. Mental error on the part of the Eagles offensive line. Nobody lays a hand on Bryant. Rogers, back deep. Bowderly kicks it away. Rogers fields it at the 40 and gets destroyed. It allows him to be able to throw at these different arm slots and different throwing motions. Lawrence again to the air on third down. Goes through his reads. 
And that is complete to TJ Chase. Choice. Ball is out. And Georgia Southern covers it up. Second to turnover by Clemson. Get it back once more. Yeah, give the Eagles credit for the takeaway here, but the Tigers have been sloppy with the football. And, you know, that was an explosive hit from the outside, but that's a normal football play for the running back. And if you're Dabo Sweeney and Jeff Scott... Tigers bring five. Works under pressure. He'll tuck it and run. Reaching for the first down, but he stepped out of bounds at the 45, about three yards shy. Um, Lawrence making the right decision there. High snap. ETN. Changing direction. And somehow makes his way out of the ambush and picks up a first down. Oh, my goodness. As we have more updates, we will let you all know. Anish? All right, thank you, Alex. Lawrence. Goes back to Richard, the nephew of Herschel Walker, a gain of 17. And no doubt about it, you put the ball in the hands of Lawrence and let him do magic. Lawrence to throw. Near sideline, T. Higgins makes the catch for the first down. Ricky Williams. Uh, I know a little bit about that. <laughs> Lawrence steps up, Hunter Renfro wide open. Renfro. Finally subdued at the 12-yard line. Little Barishnikov by the senior. It's a gain of 30. Standing decisions. You heard me refer to it earlier, but once again, just an RPO pack. It's the play fake there. Looks off the safety. Comes back to the middle of the field. Lawrence will keep it. Gets a block from Overton. And Lawrence using that 6'6 frame to set up a first and goal at the two. And I would expect him to put it back on the ground here for a third time. ETN reaching. No signal. And he is stopped shy, so fourth down. Lawrence under center. ETN in for an easy six. Clemson on the board first. Etienne with outstanding vision here and following that fullback, and it was landmines all over the pocket like Clemson has. Wirtz under pressure, and he is set by Xavier Thomas. There's the blue chip freshman. Yeah, get used to seeing him. Three deep into their bag right now. And, and it's a five-star blue chipper. <laughs> Watch the ball get off here. Just no chance. And frankly, that wasn't even great hands at the point of contact there with the right tackle. Kelly Bryant back in at quarterback. He'll throw. He's got Thompson. Turns to the outside and driven out across the 40. Get lodged in the wrong position and can knock the win out of you. On third down, Lawrence to the air. Blitz picked up by Davis. Downfield, wide open, Justin Ross. Ross, a couple of great jump moves. He is the future at Clemson, and you got a glimpse. Get used to this connection. Lawrence to Ross, these two here. Great protection in the pocket. And Lawrence showing off that million dollar arm as Ross with the wiggle at Words on the option. And taken down by Kendall Joseph, shy of the marker. It's fourth down. That's great effort there from Joseph. You know what he can do. And Bryant got banged up on that last drive. Lawrence finished it. Number two back in. ETN in the open field. And taken down in Eagles territory at the 40, a gain of 35. Six plays of 40 yards or more, tops in the nation. You want to see his speed right here. He destroys the angles of, defend of, of defensive players there. You think he's going to be in one spot, and he's not. Who earned the right to play, and they are not bashful about that. ETN up the middle. Taken down at the 25. 
And to Travis Etienne now with 100 yards rushing in the first half. Dylan out of Boston College, another name that you'll be talking about, but Etienne is really making a name for himself and could be all conference at the end of the year. Etienne into the clear. And spins ahead to the 11-yard line, and he has now matched his career high with 113 yards rushing. Ended in a fumble, one with an interception, one with a fumble. Third and short, Feaster. Picks up a first down, and Clemson now with four chances to punch it in. First and goal from the one, Feaster in the backfield. Feaster leaping into the end zone for a Clemson touchdown. By this Clemson offensive line, look at the push here. I mean, if you can get pushed into the end zone, all the running back has to do is run behind his pads. and Edge pressure, Wirtz chased, sacked by Farrell. Fourth sack of the season by Cleveland Farrell. They're special indeed. Todd McShay, three first round grades and a second round grade on Austin Bryant. Deep throw downfield, incomplete, no flag. Really commanded this offense when he's been out on the field. That's his time now. Hands it off to Lynn J. Davis, fellow freshman. And Davis, who had 89 yards in the season opener against Furman. Lawrence fakes the toss, zings it over the middle to the tight end, Cannon Smith. Rodgers in motion. Lawrence looking for Higgins. Incomplete, broken up by Vildor, who had an interception in the first quarter. Fourth down. 37 yarder for Hugel, who missed from 39. This one splits the uprights. Clemson makes it 24 nothing. Wesley Fields. Going to be close to a first down. I think he's got it. He does. Showing blitz. Instead of three-man rush. Nearly intercepted by Fields. He read it from the get-go and would have had a pick six. Young man, and now he's conducting this offense. Third down for Lawrence. Finds Ross again, wide open, middle of the field. And Justin Ross, who had a Sports Center top 10 worthy touchdown earlier, picks up 29. In rhythm right now as they continue to drive the ball downfield. Feaster out of the backfield. Bounces off Hyatt. And stiff arms his way across the 35 to the 31. Nice assist by the All-American left tackle. This is the ideal situation if Brian is down, that you're, you're able to, to play this young freshman, and he's been able to get some experience. Lawrence under pressure. Incomplete fourth down as we check in with Alex. And that's just a great testament to Brian being willing to show, share his experience with the young guy. 47-yarder by Hugel is no good. He's one for three today. A toss to Garrett. And able to move the chains. First down. That'll work, too. On second down, works on the option. Fields slowed up. And he will lose a yard. Isaiah Simmons, number 11 in orange. On third down, five-man rush. Wirtz completes his first pass. It's OB Fortune. On second and short. Yeah, why not? And that time the ball comes out. Picked up by Clemson. Niles Pinkney came up with it. And well, they went to the big fella maybe one too many times. It was intentional. You watch here the rake. Still only carrying it with that one hand. And 44, Niles Pickney with the forced fumble and the fumble recovery. An excellent job there of knowing that the big fella has not been covering up the football with two hands. And, you know, he's tired, you know? Contact on both sides. This pass is tipped into the air and intercepted. 
Rashad Bird, who did not play in the first half due to a targeting suspension from last week, gets it right back for Georgia Southern. An interception. And at 6'6", you see, he just did a nice job of hiding in behind as he was coming on the rug. I'm digging it. Mix it up. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about the back fact. <laughs> That's a backwards pass. Fortune, he'll throw it downfield. Looking for Kennedy. And Georgia Southern connects on a big play. 40 yards downfield, a little trickeration. They lull you to sleep with the same old offense and probably only have a handful of plays. And then they come with the screen pass. Wurtz will keep. Touchdown, Georgia Southern on the board here in the fourth quarter. From Newberry, South Carolina, he grew up coming to Clemson games. Offered by the Tigers, they did not see him as a quarterback. Good news for Clemson, Kelly Bryant has returned to the field for the Tigers. As that play blown up in the backfield. Lawrence to the air, Zings went over the middle, incomplete. Intended for a red throw. <laughs> Be four down territory for the Eagles. Wurtz keeps it and moves the chains. Very good decision there. Clemson brings the pressure. Wurtz to the air, he's got fortune. And OB fortune reaches for the first down at the 35. Fields devoured in the backfield, third and long. Option football running the ball. They got away with that when Tyson Summers was the coach. Yeah, just too much muscle and movement inside. And you see a Wilkins there with the swim move. Tigers bring the blitz. Works! Deleted by Austin Bryant. Venerables with a timely call. And you'll see him here at the top of your screen. Just an outstanding job. He does a good job of getting off of the ball. He knew he had a shot. And by time, Shai Wurtz had recognized that it was too late. Here comes the pressure. And Cleveland Farrell gets the sack. And Clemson takes over. And that's the fifth sack of the ball game. Coming off of that edge. And he's ferocious. This time here, just beating the tight end. Man handled him at the point of attack. Shot Wurtz was trying to squirt out of the backside of that pocket. But these guys are big. They're athletic. You see him change direction there. Cancer to his breakout performance last week with the Steelers. Plus, Randy Moss ranks the best catches from college football. ETN off to the races. And he punctuates a career day with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And there's this breakaway speed that we've heard about Etienne going to the boundary. This is hard. There's not a lot of space over here. Picks up a great block on the outside edge. Get on you as a coach for running the ball too much. They'll throw it here because they have to, and it's fourth down. Adam Choice to the outside. Into Eagles territory. Ahmad, you, you look at the league this year. Play great against okay. Southeastern Louisiana, but beat Miami and looked pretty good doing it week one. Bryce over the middle. And that is caught. It's Ross inside the 10. Over 100 yards receiving for the freshman. Choice. Is he in? He is. And at 365, dropped 20 pounds, and you'll see him number 79 on this side. Watch him. Picks up the big block. Sealing off the end there. Option. Now there is LaRoche. They call him Speedy from Venice, Florida. 80 rushing yards against an offense that averaged almost 330 coming into the game. Clemson, 
puts the ribbon and wrapping paper on this one. 38 to 7, our final score.